Elementary school teacher Jennifer Hayden is busy preparing for the first day of class, but she's got a lot on her mind. I'm feeling worried about how this school year is going to go with the lack of protections. Last September, masks were required for all staff and students grade four and up. Not this year. The province now says it's a personal choice. On the front lines, Hayden is organizing with a group of teachers who want concrete safety measures. We need to face reality and do what's needed to keep people from being sick. Though mandates have ended and restrictions lifted, the founder of Protect Our Province points out the pandemic is far from over. BC is about six to seven deaths a day during this summer, 2022, versus last year, we had six a week. But concerns about kids returning to the classroom aren't shared by everyone. No, we are very excited and quite comfortable. Uh, we saw last year, they really took care very nice. So we are quite comfortable. Yeah, actually for the first time, we very worried about uh, COVID. So we wanted kids uh, just to wear a mask in, in a school. But now I don't feel that uh, these, so we are just uh, comfortable now. Dr. Filia Tro believes that comfort is misplaced. She says the government is failing to inform people about the risks to children. We've told parents kids don't get COVID. It could not be more untrue. Since January 2020, almost 600 children under the age of 10 have been hospitalized for COVID-19. Less than half of kids aged 5 to 11 have had two shots of the vaccine. Given the risk of transmission and long COVID, both Filiatro and Heighton are calling for a mask mandate and upgraded air filtration in all indoor public school spaces. Why are they not following the evidence? Um, and when are they going to do it? The Ministry of Education did not respond to a request for comment, but at the end of August, it said health and safety are paramount, adding that families should stay up to date with all vaccines and stay at home when sick. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Coquitlam.